everybody welcome to my channel I'm Davey and today I am sharing with you my decluttering of our closet my husband and I share this small closet behind me and I am getting rid of I feel like almost half of my clothes I am no longer going to be a working mom I was a teacher for six years so I thought this is a time to minimize my clothes and really keep the things I like and want and that fit me well. So I'm going to share with you my process, what I got rid of, and what it looks like. So give this video a thumbs up for decluttering, reorganizing, and minimizing the items you have to be practical, useful, and things you like. I do want to mention this is by no means a Pinterest worthy closet. It is just something that is set up for my husband and I and we want it to be practical and visually appealing for us. So um, you can see in the beforehand here what it looks like and what clothing we have. And now I want to also say that we have a lot of clothes. Even by getting rid of half of the amount of clothes I have compared to what so many people have in their minimal style of living. So this is just one area I've been doing for my simple living. I have a simple living playlist I'll put down in the description box that you can check out. So anyways, I've just been going through cleaning things out of the closet and um, yeah, it's just things that don't fit. As you can see here in the future, I'll be trying some things on that I had bought and never worn. So it's just hard to get rid of things like that. but. If we um, don't wear them and they do not look attractive on us and they don't fit right, don't keep it. Okay, so I had to try on this dress and it looks like something my grandmother would have worn. It still has the tags on it. I got it, oops, sorry. I got it at a garage sale for $4 last summer and I got it because it's buttoned down, so good for nursing. However, Honestly, this, I thought this would be more um, high waist cinch there, but it is not. And it just looks frumpy. I have lost some weight since having baby, and I don't think this is going to be for me. And what's up with this little tie here? So, I love the dress, like the idea of it, but it sure does not look what I want. It is going. Alright, so I got rid of quite a few pants off of here already. I saved a khaki pair. I should try them on, actually. Um, just because khaki, sometimes you need them for events. A black pair. I am going to get rid of this maxi skirt. It is rather... It just isn't very nice on the bottom. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then, this is a maxi dress I love to wear. And then well, I have this drawer to clean out. I have a couple skirts and a sweater, kind of random. And then, like, my t-shirt and semi-dressy. I pulled out my tank tops for summer that are right here. But I might put those under my athletic bin. So I'm going to clean this out and see what I have left. This is going to be the hard part because I do wear um, t-shirts quite often. So as you can see, I have one on today. I love the v-neck, a good v-neck is always wonderful very much more flattering to me than a um, crew neck straight neck so yeah we'll see how much i can get Here's what I'm getting rid of so far. Uh, some of these shirts just weren't super flattering. Um, and this one, to be honest, has some pit stains. Who does it? I don't need that. Um, and this one, like that lace stuff across the front was a fad and I don't like it anymore. Got rid of a couple skirts. Now that I'm a mom, I don't want skirts that are real short. Like getting on the floor and playing with kids with a short skirt, nope. 
So I got that. Now I'm going to show you what my drawer looks like. Well, here it is. I even put some three of my camisoles in there. I have this whole spot open. I hung two of my skirts that I had in one cardigan. And then I just did like my color coding of my shirts. So I have my two stripes and then color coded my blacks and then just two other tank tops. So I am so excited with how much space I have left there. All right, these scarves are another area I need to declutter. This is all scarves. And if I'm not gonna be teaching, I do not need 10 scarves. So that was actually underneath all of that clothes. So I'm hoping to actually not even use this bin anymore and just get rid of enough scarves that I don't need that. my husband's shorts that needed a button on them were in there so I just need to fix that and you know what contemplating over clothing is okay I had to take a little time to really think about what I wanted and what I didn't want one thing I struggled with with some of these scarves is this one was given to me by my husband and it's a sentimental scarf because it was when we were dating and he saw it and he's like, oh, you're getting rid of that? But um, he said, it's okay. I said, I don't wear it. I haven't worn it in two years. So that's hard um, when it is something sentimental. But if you're not wearing it, why keep it? So I'm getting rid of it. I know, what's sad. And then this one was given to me by a friend, but I just don't wear it. So I minimized from 10 scarves to three. I'm so glad for that. But it's hard when things are sentimental. So I'm just gonna show you my area and I do have a couple empty hangers because I am currently wearing some of them or they're in the wash. But this used to be all the way over to here and like all the way over to here, this is my husband's stuff right there. Um, this is where my shorts and jeans are at now. It looks so much better, so less full. It's not stacked up to there. I love seeing my dresses here, and I kind of color coordinated them, kind of not. <laughs> this is more of just a swimsuit cover, what I wear it as. Some of these are still maternity dresses, but um, I'll be keeping them in there for future. Then all my skirts, and I plan to wear those a lot this summer. Um, and then just my little pants rack thing, and those are actually way like winter vest, I didn't show you those, but they're gonna stay back there. And then I have all of my athletic type gear, workout gear in there, and that is where it's gonna stay. And then, like I said, yeah, my hanging clothes. Um, and just back here, I put my scarves laying in here and some longer sweaters for some of the cooler days here this spring and summer. So. That is my area right there. And here is the donation pile. That's 99% of my clothes. And that is almost like at least a fourth to a half of my wardrobe right there in this giant box stacked all the way up here, stacked here and here. Well, that's it, everybody. That is what my closet looks like now, and I'm so glad to be getting rid of some of this stuff. We are having a garage sale, actually someone else's, and we're taking it to that location. So that will be nice, too, to have that little extra income coming in, if, if it sells. <laughs> um, and then the rest will be donated. But truly, we do not need all this stuff in our closet, in my closet. My husband will go through his stuff and get rid of some things. But I just feel so good about what I've purged and how it looks more minimal and um, still items that I like and want to wear. And I still have clothing items I was on the fence on that I still have in my closet that I'm not sure if I want to get rid of or not. So they're still in there, but I'll reevaluate and probably three to six months when the season changes again and go through it again because it's a never ending process for sure, especially when you're a thrifter like me. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you join and give it a like, like I mentioned at the beginning for decluttering, organizing, minimizing, and simple living. So anyways, I hope you are having a blessed and wonderful day and that you can feel motivated by this video to declutter some area in your home. Anyways, love you guys. Bye.